Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Rebecca and today I'm going to share with you my Trader Joe's haul. And I only go there every like two or three months basically whenever I want a seasonal item or when we have run out of everything that we bought last time. So today I will show you everything that we picked up and let's get into it because I got some good stuff that I know for sure is good and I also bought some stuff that I don't know if it's good and hopefully it will be good. But let's show you what we got. All right, let's start with the stuff that goes in the freezer. This is a new item for me. It's a veggie lasagna. And actually, one-fourth of this is only 220 calories, which is actually really good, I think, because just to serve this with, like, some sort of protein, whether it's shrimp or chicken, it'll be, like, a perfect meal because it already has your veggies in it. It has your starch. And there's 11 grams of protein. I'm assuming it comes from the cheese. And then um, you can just, like, have, like I said, a serving of protein to make a complete meal. Really looking forward to having that. I mentioned in my Sam's video, I'm looking for things to help me just not spend so much time in the kitchen. I love to cook, but I'm taking on a lot more work right now, and I just want to have some things that are on hand, and we rarely go out. So um, this is what we're doing. So I also picked up some frozen quinoa already cooked. I'm going to be making a holiday quinoa salad, and I'm actually going to be sharing that coming up, so stay tuned if you're interested in that recipe. And then we picked up some corn dogs, and these are the turkey ones. I had never tried these before. I saw Lauren over at Louis Slane um, haul them, and they're really good. Taylor loves them a lot, so we'll pick up a couple boxes. That'll be a great easy lunch for her with some veggies on the side and fruit. We also picked up some gluten-free waffles, and I am not 100% gluten-free, but I'm like 90% gluten-free. So... I don't have celiac, so I don't have to worry about that part. I just personally feel better not having a lot of gluten. But if I have something out and I have a little gluten in it, I don't get like all crazy about it. And because fortunately, you know, I don't have celiac. But I do like their gluten-free waffles. And then also from the freezer section, we picked up these roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. And this is just another really easy, quick meal. Um, or like a quick item. I'm planning on doing a holiday brunch, which that video is also coming. I've got quite a few fun things planned for the 12 days of Christmas that I'm doing. So definitely stay tuned and subscribe if you're interested in seeing all that stuff. But we're going to do this for part of our brunch. I also picked up some frozen peas. And this is going to be for pineapple chicken fried rice that is on the menu for this week. I have shared that recipe on Instagram. And that's at Rebecca Geiger Holistics. And then... These are new. I've never tried these like potato. They're basically like potato pancakes, but cauliflower, and it's just cauliflower, Parmesan cheese, and brown rice flour. So we're going to give that a try. Two of them are 130 calories, I believe, and that'll be just like a nice little side item. And again, like everything we buy, it lasts for two or three months, so we don't like have this every single day. It's just like once or twice a week, I guess. And then we picked up three bags of our cauliflower gnocchi. And if you saw my Trader Joe's haul from before, I did try the kale gnocchi, and that was really good. We just did not see it this time, so we couldn't get it. And actually, I went to get some turkey meatballs, and they did not have them. The whole like little bin was empty, so couldn't get that, which a little bummer. But we did find some other meat, some short ribs. Short ribs are really time consuming. And so we saw this and Chris was like, let's get it. So we got some short ribs because that's what he really wanted. And we're going to try that. Short ribs are also like pretty high in calories. So for this, I would serve it probably without a starch and just have like a bunch of greens or some different veggie options. And honestly, maybe like greens and sweet potatoes even, even though sweet potatoes are carbs, it's not super high carb. So that's what I would do with this. And then before I get into the other stuff, let's go back here and I'll show you what Taylor picked out. She always gets to choose one item of her choice. And she chose these sour cream and onion corn puffs. So very interesting. We'll uh, see about that. And then we are trying these dark russet kettle cooked chips. So I guess these are like the burnt pieces in the kettle, like in the kettle bags. Um, so we're going to try that. We love kettle chips. Taylor, or not Taylor, Chris's favorite. So we're going to try this. Have not tried it before. And then, um, we picked up some more olive oil. I love this olive oil mainly because it's cheap and it comes with a spout. And so I don't have to like waste it or use too much, which is really great when you are trying to be healthy. And then this was at the front door, just some ginger beer. And we like this, um, it's a Jamaican ginger beer. I forget what the brand is. We get our international market. And it's been a while, honestly, since I've had it because I've been using 
um, or drinking the ginger ale Zevia, but I haven't been able to find it. I thought, you know what, let's just try this. It, um, I like to have it with a mixed drink with Jameson, a little bit of ginger beer, and then lime LaCroix. So we're gonna give it a try and see if it's uh, good. I like the ginger beer that's like extra gingery, so hopefully that is. Then a seasonal item, I went in to find the Snowman Hot Cocoa. They're out. So I got a couple other things and I was also looking for peppermint pretzels. I love the peppermint chocolate pretzels. Couldn't find them, but they have these dark chocolate peppermint shortbread cookies. And a whole ounce is only 130 calories, which is not bad. I love having this at night with like um, a cup of the chocolate mint tea. There's no caffeine in it and it's really good. It's a nice little winter treat. And we also picked up some coffee. We've not tried this coffee before. But if you did not know this, coffee is one of the highly pesticized, or like highly sprayed um, crops out there. So if you don't get organic, you are getting a lot of pesticides. If you don't care about that, that's fine. But we do, and um, we try to get organic unless we're getting our coffee from Jamaica. <laughs> and I'm sure that has pesticides in it, but it's just like a more of a, a sentimental thing. So anyway, um, we got a couple bags of coffee here. Then we also picked up some peppermint chocolate chip cookie mix. And I tried the pumpkin chocolate chip cookie mix um, a couple months ago. That was good and I figured let's do this. I also have a baking video that's coming out where we're gonna make a few different holiday treats. And this wasn't on the plan, but I think I'm gonna throw these in there too and show you how to make those. Another item that I feel is seasonal, I'm not really sure, are these spicy nut mixers, like spicy jalapeno or sweet jalapeno pretzels, like chili almonds, chili, um, it says it right there, I just can't read from this far away, but um, it has a bunch of like chili flavored things and crisp and cheddar nuggets and all these wonderful things that I think are going to be delicious. And then we also picked up some salsa. This is the kind that we like, and I believe it's a medium. Picked up some gluten-free bread. This is the Italian. And the whole wheat has less fiber of like the gluten-free one. So we choose the one with the most fiber. There's two grams of fiber per serving of this Italian bread. And then we got two of the bagels. And we'll freeze this. Um, and yeah, like we'll freeze one and put the other one like in the fridge. Because we really don't eat bread a lot. But these are super good. They do not even like, you can't tell they're gluten-free. And I mentioned this before too, like, Gluten-free stuff has really come a long way where you can't hardly tell that it is gluten-free. Um, and if I ever have something that's like really soft, I don't even like it because it just, I don't know, like melts in your mouth. It's weird. But anyway, they've come a long way. When I first was getting gluten-free stuff, I'd have to drive like 40 minutes and it was tastes like cardboard. So super happy they've come a long way with that. Then the last few things that we have are some New England style clam chowder, which is Taylor's favorite. And she'll have this for lunch a couple of days this week because this does like, go bad in a few days. And then we picked up a Greek salad for Chris to take to work tomorrow. Um, it's Sunday and I've got a lot of decorating that I'm going to do today and some other stuff. So I'm just going to take my, give myself a break from making his lunch. So he's going to bring that. And then I have not tried this. I know this is pretty popular. The Unexpected Cheddar. My girl Annette loves this stuff. And I'm going to try it because it just sounds delicious. I love an aged cheddar and I love Parmesan. And that does not seem to hurt my tummy when it comes to dairy. So that's what we're going to try. And so this is everything we picked up from Trader Joe's this month. Well, thanks for hanging out with me and letting me show you what I picked up from Trader Joe's this month. What did you get? Were you able to find the snowman hot cocoa? So bummed I couldn't get that. That's like the one thing I really went in there for. And a couple other things, but I tried to get that last year and I couldn't get it. And they said this time that like it was sold out the same day that they got it. It's like, that's crazy. But anyway, thank you so much. I hope you have an awesome day and please go do something good for yourself because you're number one. I'll see you next time. Bye.